Hey guys, what's up? Fur Daddy here. Today I'm coming at you with a level 80 to 90 crafter's guide. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different than the other guides that are out there and probably the other guides that you're going to see, mostly because this is a way that you can level your crafters for free. And actually, when I leveled my culinarian this way, I made upwards of 4 million gil. So this is a very, very easy way to make money and it is completely free. So if you are about to spend your entire leave allowance, uh, leveling up and wasting it all on that and spending exorbitant amounts of money on the market board let me instead show you how we can uh turn the table on those suckers who are going to spend 5k for dark hemp or whatever and uh we can all make some money together and level up our crafters super fast okay so let's get into the video okay so how this video is going to be laid out is i'm first going to go over the uh the changes that endwalker has made to the way it distributes experience and how it's changes to leaves and whatnot then I will go over the method that I have discovered to gain a lot of this expensive material uh, very, very quickly and for free. And uh, finally, I will go over the macros and whatnot that I've created uh, for you to level with this method, as well as touch on the custom deliveries and studium deliveries that you can unlock during the game. So uh, with that in mind, let's get into the first part. All right, so uh, the first thing is the changes to experience and leaves. So uh, prior to Endwalker, leaves were by and far the fastest way to level up your crafter other than the Ishgard restoration, but there's nothing like that in the game right now for level 80 and beyond. In fact, it's incredibly nerfed at level 80. You only get a, a flat amount of a, a, like a thousand experience, so it's not worth doing at all. Um, instead, uh, they changed how leaves work, where you don't have triple turn in leaves anymore, which means you don't have leaves that you can hand in three items that are high quality. So prior to this, your leave allowance, although it appeared to be 100, was first doubled by the fact that it was high quality to 200, and then tripled because you could have triple leave turn-ins. So a 100 leave allowance could turn into a 600 leave allowance. That's no longer the case. It can only turn into a 200 leave allowance. So it's important that we save those leaves for stuff like gathering, which is uh, still very hard to level up. The reason why is because uh, the changes that they've made to the act of actually crafting an item in Endwalker is that they've made it so you get significantly more experience. Maybe it's something with the stat squish, I'm not quite sure. But you get a, a pretty significant fraction of what the leave turn-in would be itself just for crafting an item. So we, the idea of just brute forcing a crafter is, is on the table right now for several of the crafting ranks. For the ones that don't have crafters uh, leveled up, I will be touching on that briefly. But this is mostly a way to uh, stop wasting your leaves. So I'm gonna go into those now. So there is a very easy way to gain a huge amount of crafting materials that are currently going for, well, just insane prices. I'm showing some of the prices on the screen right now. And yeah, 10,000, 5,000, it's absolutely ridiculous. And there's no reason that anybody should ever pay this amount for a crafting material, especially because you can get it for free. And the way you get it for free is thus. If you are uh, familiar with the bicolor gemstones and the shared fate system, then this will be no surprise to you. But in Endwalker, you are able to complete fates in zones to receive items uh, depending on what zone you're in. So every zone has several crafting materials that you can uh, get from killing enemies or harvesting the nodes in the area. But the bicolor gemstone vendor sells a section of those. Now we can use this to our advantage because there are many crafting recipes that just use one item. So uh, the, some of the examples that I have here are uh, for Alchemist, there is the Moon Gel. For uh, Culinarian, there's the Garlic and Cheese. And for Leather Worker, there's the uh, Lunch and Toad Leather. So you're able to obtain all of these items uh, from the uh, locations Mari Lamentorum, Garlemald, and Thavnir, respectively. And those are free, so they're effectively free methods to get your crafters leveled up. And not only that, you can sell the Garlic and Cheese and the Moon Gel and the lunch and toad leather for exorbitant amounts of money on the market board because people are still paying a huge amount for that. So for all those crafters, you could even fund the more complex crafting recipes that you wanna make with the money you're generating from that. Uh, this is the, <laughs> I made uh, close to 750K just selling um, the Luna Tender items. Um, yeah, so it's, it's absolutely ridiculous how much money you can make from this. And uh, there may be more crafting items gated behind 
the amount of fates that you've done. There's no information of that online and I'm still working on finishing the fates and I'll update that if that's the case. But for now, uh, I have some recipes in the description. There's a Google Doc for the recipes as well as the uh, actual place to obtain the items. So at the very least, you'll be able to level your alchemist, culinarian, and leather worker all the way to 90 for completely zero money just for doing fates in the area, which is great. You'll also get minions from that, presumably higher levels, furniture, things like that as well. So that's those three taken care of. Um, and of course, uh, when it comes to leveling up your uh, other crafters that don't have a simple method like this, there is always the leave quest, which I won't even cover because I'm sure everybody will make videos about that. But uh, I, I have a link in the description to um, Despirius's video on leveling. Although I must say, it is absolutely ridiculous to pay upwards of one or two or three thousand dollars for a crafting material that adds up quick guys don't don't do that like seriously uh do not buy your crafting materials off the market board i will uh go into gathering in a in a minute at the very end of this video but uh before that i will go over the studium deliveries how to unlock them uh because that is a very good way to sort of plug the gap and get some experience in between levels for certain jobs so let's talk about the studium now so after completing uh your level 82 main scenario quest you will uh be greeted by key aliapo uh in the studium and talking to them unlocks studium deliveries and they work just like the crystarium deliveries where basically you have a little mini quest line where you can deliver six items at a time every two xp levels and that allows you to uh, that allows you to uh, sort of plug the gap between crafters and give you some experience. Now it doesn't give you an entire uh, like an entire eighty to ninety. Neither does it work for every job. It's split up into five different categories. So uh, you have Hinageshi uh, here, who will give you the quest for uh, miners and botanists. You have Jude, who's into astronomy, and their thing is for carpenter, leather worker, and weaver. Uh, Debro will give you it for Alchemist and Culinarian. Boric will give you one for Blacksmith, Armorer, and Goldsmith. And Talakatia will give you one for Fishing, which is Aetherology in this. So uh, you'll be able to pick all those up from this area. Uh, and as you get them, you can fill them out with each level. And that's a really good way to, to sort of plug the gap. Now, my advice is, uh, at the very least for Jude, to make sure you do it with Carpenter or Weaver. Because as I discussed previously... Uh, you have a recipe that basically gets you from 80 to 90 for free uh, with Leather Worker. So plan those out intelligently. Make the recipes as they become available. You should have no problem. Um, yeah. And yeah, as as for the, the other ones like um, Blacksmith and Armorer and Weaver and Carpenter, um, although those those items may not be obtainable right now from the... Uh, from the um, bicolor gemstone shop you are still able to gather this stuff like super easily uh if you go to your gathering log you are able to just like basically <laughs> look at the items and and most of the stuff that you can craft uh is just like 81 to 90 you can get most of the stuff you need very 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 easily so i suggest you uh take a look at that and see what you can craft and just take a look at it craft intelligently don't buy stuff off the market board um this isn't a breakdown of every single recipe to craft because I think when you do that, you can really affect the market. So this is instead a way to approach it. Um, and yeah, so, well, except for the ones that I mentioned with bicolored gemstones, because you can just get all those for free. So uh, with the studium covered, I want to just go into the macros that I use and uh, talk to you a bit about those. And then finally, I will touch on uh, gathering just a little bit more. And then that'll be it for the video. Okay, so for the macros, uh, I did most of these myself. Uh, a couple of these I took from uh, Ash 10's videos as they posted them, and some of them I just made as I was crafting. The ones that are by Ash 10, I've given credit in, in the Google Doc in the description. And Ash 10, again, is an absolutely awesome crafter content creator. None of the stuff I said about uh, bad advice from content creators extends to Ash 10. Uh, Ash 10's advice is great, and I really suggest you watch their videos as well. Uh, they are a pro. Uh, <laughs> so if you want something that maybe is not, uh, necessarily as approachable, but is very, uh, good for the high skill ceiling, you should check out those videos and those are linked in the description as well. Um, but yeah, so I have all the macros that I've talked about, uh, for this stuff, uh, in the description. So yeah, make sure you check that out and, uh, yeah.
So I just wanted to touch on some other alternative uh, leveling methods that you can use for those classes that don't have simple cheese strats to get all the way to 90. Uh, one of them is of course your daily supply and provisioning missions that you have. So as you can see here, you have very easy things you can craft. Now these are super, super easy to make and they give you a lot of experience and you can get these for your crafters and your gatherers uh, every day. So make sure you do these, uh, your, your grand company delivery missions. This is for the person in the comments of every crafting video that says, well, you also have your grand company delivery missions. So uh, that is one option and I will go into the other way you can level these up uh, now. So another option is the custom deliveries, which you unlock by speaking to uh, off Pilona here in Radzat Han, once you have Radzat Han unlocked. And uh, that just allows you to talk to the collectible appraiser here and trade in recipes. Uh, these do not cost leave allowance and still give you experience. And some of these are also really, really cheap to make. Like for instance, uh, this one here, this Hydrarium pistol. If you just desynth your dungeon gear as you're leveling up, you'll collect these Amitrines and Hydrarium nuggets. And that's free. And that's from a previous expansion. So like this is all free. So hopefully this guy, this helped you guys. Um, those are just the other uh, extra ways you can level them up. And again, I just really want to impart on you guys, you know, you have two weeks to do this. Uh, don't fall for the bait of just like wasting your whole leave allowance buy and spend millions and millions and millions. Do not do that. You have weeks and trust me guys, in two weeks, I will be making a video showing you guys how to craft the really expensive gear that is going to make you a ton of money. But we have to get there first, and we can't spend uh, we can't spend all our money now, right? So let's save it and try to make some money off the chumps that are just gonna skip ahead with leaves. Uh, yeah, and hopefully you guys uh, like that. So let's get to the outro of the video. So this is the outro of the video. Uh, if I called you a chump in this video, sorry, uh, but honestly. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I hope you did. Uh, uh, I really um, want you guys to save money. And like I, I've promised you guys all the way from Shadowbringers, I really want to, uh, I really want to like kind of go on this journey with you guys and make money with you guys. Uh, because I feel like a lot of the crafting out there is sort of gatekeepy and it's kind of like a pyramid scheme. You don't have to buy that stuff. You know, you can, uh, yeah. So like I said, uh, all, all the macros in this video just use the blue script gear. So you don't have to get any new gear or anything like that. It's super easy. Moving forward, the stuff that we craft will probably require gear, but we'll make that together as well. So uh, if you've watched the video this far and uh, you've gotten this information, uh, comment, like, and subscribe means a lot. And of course, uh, as I make these videos, you'll know about them first if you're subscribed and you hit the notification and all that stuff. So yeah, um, I was going to originally make this video my 1 to 90 crafting video because I have a lot of mistakes in my 1 to 80 video that I want to like improve on but uh, I saw the videos that were going out and I had to rectify it so I really wanted to put this video out soon while still having it be well re re still having it be well researched so um, yeah I will see you guys uh, next week with either my crafting guide from 80 to or my gathering guide from 80 to 90 or my uh, crafting guide from 1 to 90. So uh, see you guys then. Bye-bye.